Hello, this is my first attempt at building a vertical axis wind turbine. Uh, this is my prototype. I built it out of some scrap wood I had laying around the house. I made the base out of a piece of plywood, cut it into a circle and cut several notches into it and uh, tried the blades at all different angles to uh, see which one worked best in all wind conditions. And this is the one I came up with. The next step was to build the real wind turbine. And I made the base out of plywood and laid it out for nine blades. I cut all the arms out of uh, plywood also and used the jigsaw here to cut those. And on the front of each one of these arms, I cut five degrees um, off the front so that each of the blades will actually tilt in five degrees. And then each blade is 45 degrees from the center line of the hub. And this is how I got that angle here. The next step was to uh, cut the circle, cut the plywood out, and then attach all the arms. All right, I glued and screwed each one of the arms in. I used self-tappers to keep from splitting the wood, and then I later removed them and uh, put in flush-mounted screws. For the uh, hub assembly, for the bearing carrier, I used a uh, harmonic balancer off my uh, truck. It was bad. The rubber goes bad inside. The, the bearings are still good. So I used this. I drilled holes in it and then uh, placed it on the back and screwed it into the uh, bottom of the uh, round piece of plywood to hold the arms. And then I, uh, I cut blocks, and each one of these blocks are going to hold the uh, studs that hold the blades on, and each one of these is cut at 5 degrees also. And I glued and screwed each one of these in place. And then after that, I drilled pilot holes and mounted all the studs that will hold the blades into place. Next step was cutting the blades. I used plywood and ripped each one of these down. On the top and bottom of each one of these blades, I cut five degrees on them. I sanded them smooth, and then I mounted all the blades on the uh, hub assembly. At the top of all the blades, I mounted these blocks, and they help uh, secure the blades at the top to keep them from moving around. And then after that, I uh, used a polyester resin and covered all the parts with that to help uh, waterproof it. I just used the resin, I didn't use any fiberglass mat. And I covered the uh, all the blades also. All right, then I uh, mounted all the blades on the uh, hub assembly and made sure everything fit nice and then painted the whole thing. And then I made the, the pole that's going to hold the, uh, the whole assembly up in the air. All right, here's the finished wind turbine. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, start working on the generator for this. Thanks for watching.